In a tweet, the president floating the possibility of our rich military helping to build and pay for our border wall, all thanks to the newly passed $1.3 trillion spending bill. But how exactly would this work, and could it work? Joining me now to explain is El Conservador, uh, radio talk show host George Rodriguez. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. How so, are you doing, Heather? I'm doing great. Uh, <laughs> you also served in both uh, the Reagan and the H.W. Bush administration, so you know uh, whereof you speak. So is this possible? Yes, it is. First of all, the justification is very simple, that uh, we have a problem on the border with crime, with uh, not only just the illegal Im immigration, but with the crime and with possible terrorism. And uh, these, uh, these issues can lead to a national defense problem. So therefore, using military budget, m using military m d dollars is something that, uh, that, that can be uh, done and justified very, very easily. It's just a question of, of getting those resources uh, lined up and, and, uh, and, and uh, used properly. Unfortunately, we've got the situation where the Democrats, again, are playing, are playing games mm -hmm. and uh, have restricted uh, how money can be used, the money that was al allocated, uh, how it can be used, including not not letting the not letting uh, concrete be uh, be used, be allowed for for purchase. Uh, you know, it, it just seems like the Democrats are more interested in sanctuary cities in protecting uh, in protecting uh, people that entered the country illegally than in protecting legal residents and citizens. So there's what six hundred fifty four point six billion dollars in military funding available. Out of that, the president could use some of it for the wall. But what you're saying is specifically he couldn't use any of it to build a concrete wall. Well, the money that was allocated, the 1.6 uh, billion that was allocated for the wall, now that was specifies. For, uh, I, I know that specifies yeah. that you can't use that for a concrete wall, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. But the other, uh, the the money that uh, that that went to um, to uh, the military, I think that's much more flexible. That's much more flexible and can be can be utilized. And I would say that it could be uh, that concrete. Uh, mm -hmm. barriers could be could be utilized for that would someone have to vote on that or could the president just do it himself well I think eventually uh, the best way to do it would probably be for there to be an amendment uh, to the uh, to to the budget uh, allowing and giving the, the the president a freer hand to uh, to build the wall mm -hmm. unfortunately I just don't see that happening because you know and I'll be very blunt I think that there's a lot of cowards uh, on the Republican side that uh, are, are afraid to uh, to uh, uh, challenge the Democrats on that yeah. issue. And speaking of giving the president a, a freer hand, I did want to ask you about that, um, if he would have more input with the line item veto, uh, and th that's not unconstitutional. Well, the line item veto is something that definitely every president has wanted to, to, to utilize, and unfortunately, uh, we haven't uh, had the opportunity to, to, to do that. But, um, you know, obviously that would be the best way to do it. However, we've got to remember that, um, that uh, pork barrel politics uh, in budgets, I mean, that's, that's, how the, uh, that's how Congress delivers money to its uh, home districts. So a line item veto, uh, I think, is going to be very, very difficult uh, to, uh, for, for Congress to accept. Mm -hmm. But it's not unconstitutional? Uh, no, I, it, 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 my understanding is that, they, that it is unconstitutional right now. Okay. So do you think that this was in uh, President Trump's plan? You know, we always hear about how he's the, the strategic dealer. Do you think that this is why he approved this, you know, $1.3 trillion budget? Um, because he no, knew that I've he got... could get funding for the wall? Uh, I, I I believe that that this has been something that he's had to to uh, to gather himself after the fact on. Uh, I, I you know I, I I think that he was very very much hoping that that money would be allocated for the wall. Mm -hmm. I mean that's been something that he's been campaigning on and he's been pushing. And uh, unfortunately, again, uh, Congress knew Republicans in Congress knew that that was there. You know, but uh, the way that the uh, budget was put together behind closed doors, that uh, I think that caught him off guard. And I think that that's why he was very, very upset when he was signing it. Mm -hmm. Well, it might come back to bite some other people who didn't read the entire thing if he's able to do this and get it funded anyway, mm -hmm. a different way. 
Uh, well, let me tell you, I, I, we're, I'm here in, in, in South Texas, and the grassroots folks are very, very upset with the, with the way that uh, the budget was handled. All right. Well, George, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it.